followed by the Coquado sisters, Mackenzie and Bridget, who just vaulted, tied for second. There's our current leader. We saw Rebecca Bross in fifth place, despite that fall from bars, which is a good spot for her to be in. And uh, there we see Mackenzie and Bridget Coquado in the middle and on the end. And Andrea Joyce has more about them. Well, you know, it's very interesting because this is the very first time that the Coquado sisters are competing the all-around together at the Senior National Champions. Now, technically, they are competing against each other, but make no mistake, they are definitely on the same team. Evidence, the football warm-up jerseys that they wear here with their graduation years on the back. 10 is Mackenzie, and uh, Bridget is 12, and their mom, Lynn, obviously is doubly nervous up in the stands, but she told me that this is actually an awesome thing for her daughters because they are their, their biggest cheerleaders for each other and they know each other so well they know exactly what to say to each other in any situation good or bad so she said it's almost like having an extra coach down on the floor with them a coach who has some very valuable inside information and as we are seeing so far after that first rotation john it looks like that sisterhood bond is pretty powerful and they will continue to be teammates after they're done with their elite competition as they're Slated to be teammates at the University of Florida, where Mackenzie just finished her first year as a collegiate gymnast. As we finish up the warm-up here, Bridget Cuquado hopes that's not a trend as she gets out the kinks and gets ready for her second event here at the Visa Championships in St. Paul. And we will also 